Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. This is a sequel to Rimuru in Akame ga Kill, Rimuru in DXD by Alex Kuhr 360. Chapter 1. Dragon God Rimuru's Pav After I ran away from the afterschool club I was peacefully walking down the street talking to Raphael. So that guy the first killed was a fallen angel and those high schoolers were devils? Less than yes, the person in the armor was also part dragon and part devil, same thing with one of the boys, the one with the red gauntlet. Greater than. Huh, well if there are dragons here I should be able to find somewhere to release Veldora, it would be good to have a friend in this new world. It was surprising that the fallen guy's body survived that blast, sure he died but I thought his body would be completely destroyed. Less than upon analyze I found that the one you killed had an extremely durable body compared with what you were used to, assuming that person was not one of the strongest in this world you will need to be careful. Judging from the amount of magicules in the air I think there are many significantly stronger beings here. Greater than. Yes, I also noticed how there were way more magicules in the air. When I was casting those attacks I felt so much stronger than before. Less than you were very correct, the last world we were in had approachably one one thousandth of the magicules that our home world had. This world on the other hand has around one quarter. This does not mean that you are 250 times stronger than back in that planet, but you should be able to use many more abilities before exhausting your power. Greater than. Yeah, I could have gone against that white dude but I really did not want to. He was able to nullify demon lightning pretty easily and I do not want to get into a difficult fight when I do not know the situation or world. Depending on the extent of what he could do I might not have won either, I would much rather back off. As Raphael and I kept talking about the basics of this world based on what she found a warning suddenly rang out in my head. Less than warning. Incoming danger immidiate action required, greater than. As soon as I heard that I tried to turn around and see what was there but was instantly smashed into the neared wall, that wouldn't really hurt me but as I was getting up I noticed a hole in my chest. I started using, infinite regeneration, to heal but it was working slower because of a strange energy, I pulled out my sword and took up a defensive stance and looked for my attacker. My, universal perception, was not picking anything up so I was forced to rely on my actual eyes to look for my attacker. After a short time my wound as well as my clothing healed, as this happened a short figure walked out from absolutely nowhere. Less than warning. This individual has significant more energy than you, if possible try to avoid direct conflict, greater than. As the figure got closer I could see a small girl with black hair and black eyes, she had pale skin and long ears. She had a noticeably blank and emotionless face. She is a complete kuadere loli. I decided to try to start a conversation with her. Hello, did I do something to anger you? We can talk this out, I have no hostility towards you. I could try to get her guard down and launch a surprise attack but judging by that other guy's durability and how much stronger she is I doubt I could kill or even do significant damage with a single attack. If I attacked and couldn't kill, well then I would surely die to her. Thankfully she opened to dialogue. Are you a dragon? Her question was simple but hold some kind of emotion that I could not decrypt. No sorry, I am not a dragon. My name is Rimuru and I am definitely not a dragon. After a second of silence she answered. Since you do not seem to know who I am I will introduce myself, I am Ophis, the infinite dragon god. Do you have a sacred gear with a dragon inside of it, I felt a dragon inside of you. Did she somehow feel Veldora? If she can do that. She is really not someone I can currently fight and should not antagonize. Yes, I have a sealed dragon inside my own dimension, do you have some business with dragons? Suddenly she appeared in front of me, I didn't even see her move, she is really powerful. Take him out. There is no way she knows Veldora, right? If she does I doubt she particularly likes him from the way he described himself burning down cities. Well, I could but I would rather not do it in the middle of the city. When I take him out it might cause damage. Since I am ready to break the seal it should be okay but can you take us somewhere safe? Before I could take any real action I felt a magical portal begin to form before I could do anything I was suddenly thrown into it by Ophis. Hopefully Veldora can sort this out. She doesn't seem particularly hostile, yet. Instantly we were in a field that was in the middle of nowhere, 
As I stood up the little girl was standing right in front of me looking at me with her emotionless gaze. Do it now. Not wanting to anger her more than she seemed to be I started the process of taking Veldora out and putting him in a clone of me. Ophis seemed perturbed by my method of releasing him but as the clone started to change into whatever Veldora looked like she seemed satisfied, the one to speak was Veldora. Wahahaha I am the storm dragon Veldora Tempest and I will destroy all those who oppose me. He instantly started releasing a massive aura, I couldn't help but facepalm at how obvious he was making himself, no doubt other beings in this world will sense him. The one who seemed the most surprised was Ophis who had a bewildered expression compared to her normal stoic one. After overcoming her shock she instantly was next to Veldora poking him and grabbing him, it was sort of comical. When Veldora finally noticed that he had a grandiose response. Wahaha little girl why are you grabbing me? I understand you must be in shock seeing the most powerful true dragon but try to control yourself. In response Ophis punched him in the gut, launching him far away before opening another portal and pulling him back where we were. She instantly started talking, if I had to describe her manner of speech right now it would probably be something like a pout. Whatever she was expecting from Veldora it seems she was disappointed. You're not Veldanaba. Instantly Veldora stopped his bumbling around and got surprisingly serious. How do you know that name? Nobody here should know him. Ophis once again seemed to have her curiosity grabbed as her eyes lit up, I don't even know who they are talking about, but it seems like another one of the four true dragons Veldora talked about when we met. She seemed very insistent, does she have a way to our home world? I'm sorry but I can't, however you know him I am afraid you won't see him again. When he said that Ophis started releasing a really scare aura, I wanted to run away from them but needed to stay with my friend. Bring me to him, now, Ophis surprisingly completely lost her shit when Veldora denied her, I feel like there is something I don't know. Okay, fine I can't bring you to him because he is dead, Nisan is dead. Instantly the atmosphere where we were standing completely changed, Veldora had a very gloomy aura and Ophis seemed to be completely shocked, she even started shaking, I don't know out of anger or sadness but she was having some kind of strong emotion. He can revive himself, right? How long until he formed his core again? After not getting an answer Ophis took a breath and recollected herself, she instantly grabbed Veldora and looked him straight in the eyes. Whatever, why oh you have the same true dragon factor as him, you will be my mate. Veldanava might have been able to hide for now, but you can take his place. You are definitely much weaker than him but our children will still be stronger than either of us. Wait she wants to mate with Veldora? What the fuck? Raphael she won't try to mate with me if he refused, right? Less than. Greater than oh shit. Veldora seemed very flustered, I guess he is a virgin like me. Mate? Wait what, am mating? I don't mate. In response Ophis pushed Veldora down on the ground and started straddling his waist, she isn't going to do. That. Right now, is she? You will be my mate, now give me your babies. The way she said that was really creepy saying something that would usually be considered erotic with a straight face and flat voice is crazy. We can't, true dragons are not allowed to mate. It is against the rules, so sorry but I will not be mating with you. Ophis did not take that well and used some kind of black energy snakes to bind him and began starting to undress, she was really going to mate with him right here, in front of me. When she completely ignored Veldora's plea to stop he continued. That's why he's dead, that's by Veldanava's dead, he died because he had a child, so stop. I felt like I was about to hear something important and interesting, it seems that caught Ophis's interest as well. She instantly stopped what she was doing and looked him in the eyes. Explain. It seems like Veldora wasn't telling us something and was finally forced to do so. Veldanava fell in love with a human woman and had a child, when she was born he lost almost all of his energy. While she got some of his abilities he became so weak I could even beat him easily then he was killed. Killed and never came back, died to never be reborn. My elder sisters think he might have lost his true dragon factor when he had a child, so true dragons are not allowed to have children. There you go, so get off of me you weird horny little girl. As soon as he finished Ophis was completely frozen, she seemed completely shocked, not like before but it looked like she was looking somewhere we couldn't see. She released the binds on Veldora and he stood up and move away from her. I was still watching Ophis though. The stellar star king dragon god is dead. T that shouldn't be possible. He can't be. 
He created everything. How could he die in one of the worlds he himself created? He can. TB. Earlier I got the impression Ophis was a very stoic and hard to read person but right now she is showing a variety of emotions. Whoever Veldanava was so her must have been very important. After her outburst a single tear made its way down her face. It looked like she was trying to hold back more but was barely succeeding. I guess she didn't want us to see her cry. I will see you in the future Storm Dragon Veldora. I have some business to take care of after hearing that. This portal will lead to where I found your friend here. I am sorry for the loss of your brother. With that she opened a portal and before I could notice she was completely gone. Not knowing what else to do I dragged Veldora through the portal with me into the alley I was in before. He was obviously in a bad mood. I could understand but I was very interested in what I heard. Did Veldora's brother create the universe? Or even the multiverse? Today these people are just getting stronger and stronger. Less than yes, from what we heard it appeared Veldanava was the creator of many worlds. I recommend you get stronger if we will be in a world with people like Ophis, she was too strong for us. Veldora would even be beaten by here handedly. Greater than. Less than also when you released Veldora you gained two new ultimate skills. The conversation took precedence so I delayed the announcement. The first one is Uriel Lord of Vows, it was formed from the analyzed, ultimate imprisonment. It also combines many other lesser skills. The other one is Veldora Lord of Storm that was gained because you still have Veldora inside of you. I will explain the details later, greater than. Whoa, that is really crazy, two new ultimate skills and I still feel like Ophis was way too strong for me. I need to get stronger but getting situated in this world is the immediate goal. That night the two strongest dragons in the world mourned the death of the most powerful being in existence, the stellar star king dragon god Veldanava. That night the tears of great red and Ophis would be the seeds that would bloom and change the future of the world. The end.